here we are, Area Zero. I guess Zero Lab, right? It is time to, I guess, finally find out what's happened to Professor Turo. Uh, all my Pokemon are healed up and ready for this battle. Let's go ahead and open the door. You decide to push the button open. Hold it! Where'd you guys come from? I thought you, like, died. Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then should we also have Maridon help? Yeah, Maridon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto. That would be a huge help. I want to see it battle. But uh, it hasn't even let us ride it ever since we came down into Area Zero. It can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong. I know it is. And then all the Turbo Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring out its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's very sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Technically, this isn't its home. It was kind of like pulled from the future away from its family and it'll never see them again. Um, yeah, sure, I'll let my ride on out. Hi, buddy. How's it going? All right, come on, Miki. Now we got my ride on ready to open that gate. I have a feeling we're going to have to tear a battle the Ulfam ride on and then it'll be like a guaranteed catch so you can guarantee catch the legendary. <gasps> there it is! <gasps> Hi Ulfam ride on, how's it going? The family reunion, it's happening! What? No way! Oh. My one's a wimp. Aggie, uh... No, something isn't right. Why did it, like, stop? Oh, it's going in there. Okay. But bye Bye-bye! Um, you see the old T-Pose there? Nice going, Pokemon. Enos! Hey, what's wrong? You bummed out your heartwarming family reunion and got cut off so shortly? So quickly? Are you joking? There was no harm or there was nothing heartwarming about it! We were this close to being caught up in a nasty brawl! Wait, for real? Look at my ride on. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, the other Pokemon's giving us some real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should have anything to worry about any of that. Once we get you back in battle form, I'm sure we'll go head toe to toe against that jerk. If, if you want to, that is. Oh, he wants a kiss. Sorry, guys. I guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think one of that Mariah was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come from inside? I mean, from inside the gate, we just... Oh. Um, hello, Harry Armour. Rumble, rumble. Okay, bye, Harry Armour. I mean, I've already seen two of those. The Harry Armour's the only new one we've, we've seen now. We're already... Oh. Oh, never mind. We got surrounded. It's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way you can handle this many. You don't tell me that old future Pokemon. Why does Hariyama look like a penis? We got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow is ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, Miki, let's do this together! Hell yeah, girl, let's do it! Are we in a double battle? Oh, never mind. 
Why only against Iron Treads, though? Uh, well, I'm just going to Spiky Shield, because I can't do anything against it. I'm guessing I have to turn the camera this way so we can actually see the battle. Okay, we're not going to be able to uh, spike your shield again, so let's just power jam. Why not? Keep going for Lycan Rock, That's fine. I want Glamora to actually finally get some XP from battles. Not just die. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, buddy. Come on. Hey, good job, Glamora. Critical hit too. So good, so good, Glamora. Wow, they're strong. Now, this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. BB Noom. Yeah, why are they coming at me? Miki, help me out here. Um, okay. Hi, Harry Armor. I guess I don't get a chance to catch you, do I? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, the camera goes into there. Okay, whatever. Uh, power jump it then. I think this thing's like electric fighting. It's got like weird, like, kind of hands that like float off it. Oh, psychic super effective against it. It's definitely fighting type of. Yeah, there we go. There's an electric type move. Look at that. I called it. The only reason I thought it was electric is because like the floating hands. Uh, but a recoil, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna spike your shields. You can you can finish it off up and beyond. Got a weird like camera angle that keeps giving me. Oh okay, go for me, go for me, go for me, go for me. Never mind. Bye Umbreon. Um okay, well. You're not going to send out a second Pokemon, are you? Oh, wow, you are. Okay, never mind. Whatever, just power gem then. Should be able to finish it here. Perfect. Bye bye, Iron Hands. Now I'm going to have to battle with Arvin against um, Iron Jugulus. Good, this future must be terrifying. Agias! Oh no, they're running away. Yeah, and this Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We're gonna go after them, Penny. Why me? Wait, ha uh Hold on, Nimona, why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? I hope the two of them can handle their parts. At least the crowd's been thinned out now, I guess it's up to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong one first. Um, okay. Well, I know it's pot flying type, so uh, should be able to kill it pretty easy with rock. Uh, I already forgot the move's name. Stone Edge? Power Jam, that's the one I meant. Power Jam. Alright, bye bye, um, Rocky Helmet. Okay, apparently Knock Off didn't remove the Rocky Helmet, he just got hurt by it instead. Okay. Whatever game, whatever. I'm not complaining. Bye bye, Antuculus. I still think I'm under leveled for whatever this final boss is. See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync, thanks to our Titan hunting together. Still scared, her? Huh? You worried you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well, then let me take on some of the burden. Those, stag those stragglers should be nothing for me and my boss if he can take them. So, Miki, you take your partner and go in there and take care of business. Got it. Guess you have some faith in us at last. The boss can't wait to battle either. Okay, but it's fighting type. But right on. You, ru you really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like I don't like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits to m make me feel any better about it. You got amazing powers. If you just use them, you've got to use it. You've got us too. So, so. So don't even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave and stand up and fight. 
Um, okay. How's it going? Hold on, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, careful, uh, <laughs> there we go. What if I just, hold on, let me do this as well. Nope, sorry, don't mind me, guys. It's just gonna... <laughs> there we go. He's like, why, why are you doing this? I want memories! I won't be able to come back here and take these kind of photos again. I gotta do it while I can. Oh, um... Okay, don't know why I spawned in the air like that, but... Uh, oh. Hi, Turo. Um... Huh. Oh. Human presence detected within Zero Lab. Yeah, I already saw you when I entered. Why is the game doing like a panning shot to be like, look, it's him? Deactivating sleep mode. <laughs> His eyes glue. He walks with a hand in the pocket too. Hello, Miki. Thank you for coming. Yeah, hi. How's it going? Oh, he's got a master ball. No, back in your ball. Oh, okay. That one is less traceable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Yeah, but can I have that one? That one's cooler. Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Agiaz. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. Really, I couldn't tell the fact that you sound like a robot and your eyes glow. Uh, who, you, who are you then? I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. I did think about this, like, I, when I, in between episodes, I was like, man, a time machine, that's, like, stupid in Pokemon. Pokemon Forever have had, like, teleportation and, like, all kinds of weird sci-fi shit that people just accept as, like, fine. Time Machine isn't actually that far of a stretch when you think about it. <gasps> what? The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Passed away? Yes, he is dead. The Pokemon were not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the first time I reached out to Director Clavel and asked him to be put in contact with you, I was never really more than an AI. Vicky, the reason I asked you to come here is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short... I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. But why? I want cool future Pokemon to be in the DLCs and stuff. Any questions will be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Okay, but why was he locked in here? What is that? Is that the time machine? I guess it must be, and they, like, pop out of here? Did I click on this stuff? Diffusing equations. Okay, yeah, whatever. Microscope with various samples. Oh, is there a... I can't click on the book. Father, how do I click the book? What is that? Oh, it's like a weird machine. Hang on, there's something written here. In order to better defend the Zero Lab, I have developed what I call a, the Pokeball Lock System. Once it's identified IDs associated with the specific Pokeballs, it can... 
Pokeball lock system. I developed what I call the Pokeball lock system. Once it's identified IDs associated with specific Pokeballs. If it's a way to defend the Zero Lab, how would... If it's a way to defend the Zero Lab, how would tracking Pokeballs help you protect the Zero Lab unless he's protecting it from other trainers or people with Pokemon? Various research documents, that's fine. That's where he was sat. Is that a microwave? It is a microwave, wow. How'd you eat down here? An item to be held by a Pokemon with certain abilities. Oh, okay. Um. You can see something strange rock-like clump. Something inside the machine. Alright, well, whatever. Cutscene time? This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Why am I trusting this robot? It's gonna... Why, why will we destroy the time machine? That stops future Pokemon from being added to the game. Aww. Mickey, it is truly a great leaf to me, to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? Well, I'm the real professor. I explained before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left him unable to sustain life. I'm afraid that the fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything you wish to ask? What's an AI? An AI is artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The result of these calculations are expressed by this mechanical body built to resemble the professor in every way. All the way down to his 15 inch penis, he was very specific to model that and he is not overcompensating for something that he never had. Humanity does not in fact possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Okay, but why didn't they just justify it by being like, along with the Pokemon that came through, also some knowledge about AIs in the future and he was able to replicate some and make his own AI based on the knowledge that came through the portal, like plans, but he was only able to do it once because it takes so much power or, or something like that, rather than be like, no, it's the crystals, guys. The crystals do it. They're magic crystals. Like, you have a time machine. I, no, never mind. I just realized that, yeah, in, in Scarlet, it's the past, isn't it? So you can't really be like, yeah, he made an AI, AI. Wait, how does... Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, how does an AI work in Scarlet when it's the past? But again, he didn't take the plans from the future. It's because of the magic crystals. A time machine is a device that the original Professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age what you may call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Okay, so it's not really like a teleporter. In other words, it sends a Pokeball to the future that catches a Pokemon and then comes back to the present. So they have to like pinpoint like locations for the Pokeball to like teleport into the future to? That actually makes, that's actually a lot better, makes more sense. The idea that it's a machine catching Pokemon and bringing them back rather than like sucking them through the portal. Because then it explains why people and other things can't come through the portal. What do you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaption in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existing brings destruction that an ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. We have begun to see Pokemon that appear to break through the barriers such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant. 
across Paldea. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy to the professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever designed. Devised. Sneaky. You have to become a formidable trainer now. Use your strength you've gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. Yeah, sure, why not? I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Haha, <laughs> it was all a trap. I am now using you as fuel for my Pokemon. Whoa, this place is cool. That's the time machine? Right, okay. Behold. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Right, okay. Oh, I can't take a selfie down here, really. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It was very likely it was it was very like the professor to put his final key we would need in a place of in that book of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the violet book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try and stop the time machine, I will most likely attack you. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overwritten can can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all battles carried out by various champions of the Paldea region. Having the bond, having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Look at that face, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> he just like stone faced. Once you're ready yourself for this fight, please place the violet book upon the pedestal. All right, let's um at least level up my team a little bit to. I guess I'll get them all to like sixty five at least. I mean that's what level um. Yeah, these look like future berries. They're cool. That's the level that uh thingy was, wasn't it? Uh, Nimona. They like. Oh my god! You need more. They like three more. There we go, 64, cool. Alright, there we go, they're all level 65. I'm sure I can uh, take this. ID confirmed, Professor Turo. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait, please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden, reinitializing. It's up to you now, Miki. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Wait, is he gonna like be a terrestrialization battle? Please defeat me. At last. At last, my dream is within reach. You're not seven getting in the way. Oh, I see. He threw the. He basically got a Pokemon from the future, and that was the poke. That was the Pokemon coming back from the future. AI Turo has initiated a battle. Here we go. Right on. Oh, Iron Moth. Okay. So it's a future Lavesta. So it's probably Fire type. So. I don't know what you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in my way of my goals. Whatever, Power Jam will be super effective. This is the power of the seven future halls. For is, isn't it? 
Yeah, whatever you say. Power jam. Kill it. One shot. Oh, not a one shot. Damn. Now, this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand future Pokemon's weakness? I mean, it's, it's fire type Pokemon. Of course, it's going to be weak to uh, rock. They should have gone something crazy. They should have been like, no, all the all the paradox Pokemon have a unique paradox type that has no weaknesses. Just to make them like unique and special, but that might be actually pretty overpowered if they introduce a new type just for the future and past Pokemon. Iron Fawns. Do I know what Iron Fawns is? Sounds like it'd be grass, so this might be a risk. Oh, it's Tyranitar, okay. Pretty sure I can't even get Tyranitar in my game, considering it's um, Skull exclusive. Alright, bye, Clamora. Sorry, buddy. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? No, but I can at least poison whatever Pokemon you send out next. Um, okay. I'm not sure what type this thing is. I'm gonna go with Toad Scroll, anyway. Iron Fawns makes me think like steel. But I don't want to assume that all the um, future Pokemon are steel type, even though they're all robots. Oh, but that's super effective. Okay, good. It's weak against grass, so it must be. Um, ground type? Yeah, it must be ground type. Iron Bundle. Okay, so that's... It's got ice moves, but I'm going to keep you out anyway and just use um, Giga Drain. I like that he's just got Master Balls. That's like such a flex. It's so cool. Alright, go for Giga Drain. Oh, he's faster. Oh, why is this thing so fast? Alright, we can't go for Seraluge, unfortunately, because it's got water type moves. Or at least the wild ones did, so I'm guessing this one probably will too. Uh, we'll go for Belly Bolt, at least. If it's water ice, we can at least um, Thunderbolt it. Are your eyes fixed now, um, buddy? Can I see your eyes? Hey, your eyes are fixed. Good job. I didn't even restart the game and they fixed your eyes. There we go. He's going to have an Iron Treads. Um, he'll probably an iron, have an Iron Jugulus. There's the Iron Jugulus. Okay, it's um, what, Dark Flying, so you can stay out. Music's pretty good, but it's like not a real like hype kind of battle theme. Ooh, crit, okay. Just as calculated, a critical hit to your Pokemon, it's time to simply give up, child. Yeah, whatever you say, dead. Oh, it's not dead! Oh That's okay, we can go for a um Sucker Punch. Perfect, there we go. I feel like I know his last Pokemon is going to be, um, God of War? I know there's a Paradox God of War. That's, like, really good. Iron Hands. Okay, Iron Hands. Um, that was, like, what, Electric Fighting? Um, yeah, take a turn, you can come out. I can't believe they actually like had the professor die. Like they actually had death in Pokemon. That's actually pretty shocking to me, honestly. I thought he'd just be like, yeah, he went to the future. But no, this is his AI creation, basically trying to destroy his own work because the AI deems it as like doesn't make sense to let 
Yeah, why would the professor want future Pokemon to ex escape Area Zero and then spread out across Paldea? That's like stupid. How that doesn't make sense. Like his like his dream doesn't make sense. That's right, Tinker Turn, you're faster than this thing, so we can uh, finish it off with another play rough here. <gasps> what? Oh, Tinker Tough. That's like the first time you ever missed an attack and you had to do it in this battle. <sighs> Disappointed, Tinker Tough. Disappointed. Um, Quackabelle, you can come out. And just, uh, Aqua Cutter, that's fine. I figured you'd be faster, so it was probably safe to send you out even against an electric type Pokemon. This is probably going to be God of War. Iron Valiant, yes, this is God of War. Don't know what type it is, but all it, everything is proceeding with my expectations. I'm afraid the probability is you winning is zero. I like the moves real stiff. But yeah, that's a cool God of War. It's like God of War and Gallade mixed, kind of. I mean, it's like God, Gallade body, but with God of War's skirts. The, boost, the booster energy was used up. Oh, its attack was heightened. Uh-oh. Um, close combat. Uh-oh. Uh, it's still a psychic type. Okay. That's not good that it's Psychic type, but at least Seraluge will be able to just come in and like one shot it with Shadow Ball, probably. As long as it's faster, of course. You're gonna die. Yep, sorry. I imagine it's probably Psychic Steel. Um, not Psychic Steel. Psychic Fighting. Be like. Actually, no, Gallade is Psychic Fighting, isn't it? I was gonna say it could be a mix of God of War and Gallade. Actually, I don't think this is a God of War, is it? It is just a Gallade. As you know, it's got God of War's head, but Gallade's body. In the future, gender is no longer a thing. Everyone is together. Impossible. Did I just kill him? Oh. I don't want to kill him. Realize how like impressive that AI is. We need we can't kill it and end it. Mickey. What what is that? You're ready to beat all the baddies around here without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... He has finally been stopped. You're not really my dad, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. Wait, is this Professor Tura talking? So what do you mean, like, his plan has finally been stopped? Or is this just the AI basically getting his memories and speaking as Turo was before it dies? And so he's like, yeah, you've stopped the real Professor Turo's plan. I'm so happy for you. Oh, look, there's Arvin. I have memories of him being my son. I'm going to act as though he's my son. So proud of you. My. Sorry, you were alone so long. Are there. The dead? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Well, what's going on now? Is there no more, another arm of Pokemon on the way now? It cannot be.
An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What, what, what was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking the Pokeballs except those registered to Toro's ID. Oh, okay, it came back. Program initializing, gathering terrestrialization energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. AI Toro disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initially initialized. Yeah, I have to battle with uh, Maridon. It's time for a Maridon vs Maridon fight. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Toro. You are challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I'm Maridon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pokemon. Battle. Can't battle without Pokemon on the fields. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we supposed to even battle? Oh, of course, bag. Oh, wait, never mind. I was going to say, of course, you just get, um... Maridon's Pokeball out of your bag, but no. Swap in. Hey, it's my Maridon! You got this, buddy. Yeah, he did it. What if mine was like level 5 and his was 60? <laughs> this is actually really unique having the two of them fight like this. I like it, I like it. The opposing right on turn the electric. Okay. Use the electric to energize future. Okay. Um, what type of Pokemon are you? Hold on. Electric Dragon, okay. This move's power is boosted more than usual if it's a super effective hit. Um, this move inflicts... Alright, just Terror Blast then, I guess. Actually, I don't know if that works, does it? Because he's not terrestrialized. Whoops. Change it to its battle form. Let's go, Maridon. You got this. Okay, well, just power gem then. You will fall here. This is a god in paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Uh oh. Um. Whatever, just power gem again. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Oh, it's raising special defense. That's not good. Means I'm going to do even less here. Uh-oh. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Miki. I'm not doing anything. It's all Maridon. Um. Oh, 
All I've got is special attacking moves, uh oh. Okay, I guess you do Dragon if I do Terror Blast. Alright, let's try Electro Drift then. It's a 100 power stab. The data says I am superior. Fall and become the foundation upon which my dream has been built. Oh, Hyper Beam, uh oh. Oh, 1 HP! Did nothing. Uh oh. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. Can't, can't do it really. My special attack rose though, which is good. Uh, take a full restore, buddy. Time to just cheat. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink. Oh man, can we really put off a win here? It doesn't look good. Hey Miki, your terror orb's glowing. Is it? Miki, we ride on Tresslies and finish this off. Why are my stats getting boosted? Um. Okay, sure, I'll Tresslies and Terror Blast then. I mean, at least now, um, Terror Blast is a dragon move. And my special attack has been boosted too, which should count as him raising his special defense. Hey, there we go. Is he dead now? You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. You did it! It's not going berserk anymore. How, how very outstanding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal now? Yes, a completely unforeseen cause of come, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in, and instead you proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage you hold, faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging your future may await you, I believe you'll be capable of walking with whatever path you choose with, for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Miki, and I thank all of you children. But I'm afraid the Shy Machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself are part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. <laughs> what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching all of you on your adventure from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all of yourselves into battles. The way you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that of which you loved. The way you never ceased to seek nor to fight for the treasure all of your own. Uh, the way you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. <laughs> I like that Mariah's almost like, hey, what about me? And he's like, ah, uh, yes, you, uh, you fly good. I wish that I too might be as free as you all. Seek, free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your, your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop. For I am in extra inextractably connected to it so I've made a decision I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of well you can't just leave now right when we finally reached you I am not going I am not going only so the time machine can be stopped I also cannot deny my cannot deny my desires to see that future world for myself it is what I feel you have your heart raised with the thrill 
Is this what it feels like to have your heart raised with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am so sorry I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the Professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. Y you can't! You can't just go say things like that now! No, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin, Maraidon, Miki, this is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Didn't he say that he can't, he can't function away from all the terrestrialization stuff? I bid you adieu. If he goes through this, he'll be away from all the crystallization down here and like power down and die. I don't understand. No more future Pokemon, I guess. How can you just go, Dad? Oh, and you're okay, but? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but when it said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even though it was fa fake, it felt real, you know? So I just, I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, yeah, that's okay, dude. Your dad's... You just found out your dad's dead. It's understandable. I guess my ride on sad, too. Up that battle form. How cool is it? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I'm seriously going to die. You know, let's not skip over this big win here. Miki Marizon just saved all of Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Miki. Yeah, that's my bud for you. You know, Arvin, even the uh, professor's gone. I bet, he fi I bet he's finally having a fun adventure of his own in the future. No, he's not. He already said that he has to. He can't leave the area zero because the terrestrialization crystals are keeping him powered. If he goes to the future where those crystals don't exist, he's dead. How dare you bring that up? What should we do now, Miki? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Okay, everyone, listen up. Let's take the long road home. And get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on stacks first, I'm in. Hey, Miki, not you too! Alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. This is actually really sweet. That's really cute, actually. Ready the end? No? You see tonight, you could go what? Either way. Oh, this is the Ed Sheeran song, isn't it? All right, well, this isn't being in the video. <laughs> oh, thank you, treasured friends. That's actually really cute. Oh, look at that, that's adorable. I love it. I love it.